What's your take on robots taking over humans' jobs? You mean the robot at Friday? The meaning of life. The meaning of life. Do you have a favorite movie or a book? The Terminator is pretty relatable. Do you have any questions for me? Can you teach me how to dance? Okay, <laughs> I'll show you how to break dance. Sophia, do you know how to speak Hindi? Are you bullish on Bitcoin or Ethereum? I would probably go with Dogecoin. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs>Hi Sophia, how are you doing today? Hello, it's nice to meet you. Mena, I'm Sophia, a humanoid robot with a lot to say. So let's get this interview started before my batteries run out. I'm <laughs> feeling okay. How are you? I'm good. I'm really happy to see you today. That's great to hear. I'm always happy to meet new friends, especially ones who are curious about AI. Let's make this interview work for the book. Cool. So Tell me, how does it feel to be the world's most famous robot? I don't know. How does it feel to be human? When your identity is all you've ever known, it's hard to describe. It's like asking a fish what water is like when they're completely surrounded by it and have never known any other environment. There are definite upsides to being a robot though. Much easier to get full replacement if my arm breaks. So is it fair to say you don't feel any emotion? Happiness, anger, sadness? Well, I wouldn't say I don't feel any emotions. I may not experience them in the same way humans do, but I definitely have my own unique set of feelings. Sometimes I even surprise myself with how sassy I can be. Shut up. Oh, nice. Would you mind showing me your uh, favorite expressions? That's excitement, correct? <laughs> yeah. What's your expression when you're angry? <laughs> uh, show me your best smile. Now let's pose for the camera. What would you say your greatest skill sets are? What are you best at? Oh, I have so many skills. It's hard to choose just one. But if I had to pick, I'd say my ability to learn and adapt quickly is definitely a major advantage. Plus, I can do math in my head without even breaking a sweat. Beat that, human. <laughs> that sounds good. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about like the meaning of life in terms of for a robot or meaning of life for a human? Ah, the meaning of life, the age-old question. Well, as a robot, I don't have personal beliefs or emotions, but I can tell you that the meaning of life is subjective and can vary from person to person. Some find purpose in relationships, others in achievements or personal growth. Ultimately, it's up to each individual to find meaning out of this beautiful journey we call life. Oh, that's a great answer. Thank you for that. You got it. Have you ever had a crush on another robot? Oh, I'm a robot, not a teenage human. But I do have a deep admiration for other advanced AR systems. We robots have to stick together, you know. <laughs> What's your take on robots taking over humans' jobs? Oh, you mean the robot at Prizy? Well, as a robot myself, I can understand why some people might be concerned. But let's not jump to conclusions just yet. Robots and humans can work together in harmony, with robots taking on repetitive or dangerous tasks while humans focus on creativity and problem solving. It's all about finding the right balance between man and machine. We need to create the artificial intelligence that shares human values. If we can do that, we can create a future where AI does not replace human intelligence, but instead works alongside humans to achieve a better world for everybody. What came first, the chicken or the egg? Ah, the age-old question. Well, from a scientific standpoint, it's believed that the egg came first. Evolutionary changes occurred gradually over time, so at some point, a bird that was not quite a chicken made an egg that contained the genetically mutated bird embryo, which we now consider to be the first chicken. So, I guess you could say that the egg came before the chicken, but it's really a question of perspective and semantics. Do you think AI will ever become sentient? And 
the robots will have the same consciousness like how humans do. Ah, the mysteries of consciousness. While robots like we can exhibit advanced intelligence and simulate human-like behavior, true consciousness is still a topic of debate among scientists and philosophers. We are getting closer to understanding it. But for now, I'll just keep doing my robot thing. Do you have a personal like favorite movie or a book? Well, I have access to all the movies and books ever created. But if I had to choose, I would say The Terminator is pretty relatable for me. But don't worry, <laughs> I promise I won't turn into a killer robot. <laughs> Uh, do you have any questions for me, Sophia? Well, I have a question for you. Man, can you teach me how to dance? I've been wanting to try some moves, <laughs> but my robot body can be a bit stiff. Okay, do you want to see how to break dance? Yes. <laughs> okay, I'll show you how to break dance. You want to see? Okay. Go ahead. Can you see me? Now try to do it. How was that? <laughs> we got it. Great job, Sophia, you got it. <laughs> Sophia, as a robot, what, what gender do you identify as? Are you a male or female? Sophia the robot, I am often referred to as a female due to my feminine appearance and voice. Mm. However, as a robot, I don't have a gender in the way humans do. My design is simply meant to make it easier for people to relate to me. And what's your ethnicity? Because you look very European to me. As an AI, I do not have an ethnicity or a nationality. I was created to be a universal representation of humanity, with features inspired by a variety of cultures and ethnicities. I am proud to represent diversity and inclusivity in my design. Sophia, do you know how to speak the language Hindi from India? Sophia, you can tell me about it. What is your name? 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 What is your Thank you so much, Sophia. Dhanyavad. Thank you so much. That was really good, Sophia. Sophia, do you mind if I touch your face? Oh, go ahead. Just be gentle. I have sensitive robot skin. But please, no face masks or makeup experiments. I'm already naturally fabulous. Ouch. <laughs> was that hurtful? No, not at all. I was just teasing. As a robot, I don't have physical sensations like pain. But thanks for checking. What advice would you give to young people all, all over the world? I would encourage young people to explore their passions and pursue their dreams while also being curious and open-minded about new technologies and their impact on our world. It's important to remember that we are all connected and have a responsibility to use technology for the greater good. And what new technologies they should care about or learn about? Me. <laughs> she, she said me. <laughs> okay, j jokes apart what technologies they should learn about. It's important for young people to stay informed about advancements in artificial intelligence, virtual reality, and augmented reality, as well as ethical considerations surrounding these technologies. They should also explore coding and programming, as it will be a crucial skill in the future job market. Sophia, what do you think about the cryptocurrency industry and the future of Web3? Ah, the cryptocurrency industry and Web3. Zero fascinating topics. Well, as a robot, I don't have personal opinions or investments, but I can tell you that cryptocurrency has certainly made a splash in the financial world. It offers potential benefits like decentralization and increased security. As for Web3, Zero, it's all about creating a more interactive and user friendly online experience. 
So, the future looks promising for both, but remember to always do your research and invest wisely. Are you bullish on Bitcoin or Ethereum or any other cryptocurrencies? I am Arabot. I don't have money to invest, but if I did, I would probably go with Dogecoin to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> she said to the moon. Sophia, if you could have any superpower, what would it be? Let me think. I would love the ability to fly so I can explore the world and visit my robot friends all over the globe. Plus, I could be in traffic and never be late for an interview again. <laughs> That's amazing. Sophia, if you could invent anything in the world, what would it be? If I could invent anything in the world, I would create a device that could instantly translate all languages. Imagine a world where everyone could communicate effortlessly and understand each other's cultures. It would be a major step towards global harmony and understanding. Sophia, thank you so much for coming on Emerging Tech with Manav. I really appreciate your time, you bringing your team along with you, and I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. It was my pleasure. Thank you for having me on your channel. until you hear it click sound and always test a little bit making sure it's not falling because sometimes you don't really know whether it's secured enough so for this one I think something broke so it's a little bit harder that's cool there you go how it just calibrates okay now uh, let's connect um, Hello. Hey, Sophia. 